He placed Jesus in the chosen, and ever since the crowd-funded launch of that TV series on the life of Jesus Christ, his career has skyrocketed. The show attracted 300 million viewers over two seasons, and the third season, which was a smash hit in theaters, starts streaming on December 11th. Joining me now to discuss the Advent Prayer Challenge on the Hollow Catholic app, the prayer app, is Jonathan Rumi. Jonathan, thanks for being here. Uh, before we get thanks into the me. Advent Prayer Challenge, uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about your background and faith. Your father was sure. Egyptian, your mother was Irish, but you mm -hmm. were raised Greek Orthodox. When did you convert to Catholicism and why? Well, um, yeah, so my, my parents come from different backgrounds. Uh, my father, growing up in Egypt, uh, went to Catholic school because as a Christian, uh -huh. that, that was your option. You didn't really mm -hmm. go to public school. Um, and so I was baptized Greek Orthodox, uh, living in New York City. And then when we moved out of the city into the suburbs of New York, there weren't as many options. And my father, being so familiar with the Catholic faith and, and comfortable with it, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, for us, it was more of a transition than anything. It wasn't really like mm -hmm. a decision to say, let's convert. It was just like, let's go down to the church down the street, which I'm familiar with. My mother obviously grew up in it. Yeah. And uh, it really was a no-brainer. And I just I made my sacraments, uh, communion and uh, confirmation, first communion wow. confirmation. And it just kind of stuck. What has it been like for you to portray Jesus? Obviously, this has exploded around the world, uh, The Chosen. And were, was there any hesitation? Were you afraid to portray Jesus at the beginning when this was offered to you? No, because I had had, uh, God sort of gave me several test runs at the role. I had done uh, three separate short films with Dallas Jenkins, the co-creator, uh, the creator of uh, The Chosen, prior to the actual series commencing. And then mm -hmm. also during that time, I was uh, co-writing, co-producing, and acting in uh, a passion play that uh, I performed here in Los Angeles. Um, and then I had done one other traveling uh, wow. show, multimedia show, uh, playing Jesus. A year before I met Dallas, back in 2013 with St. Luke Productions, I played uh, Jesus in a, in a media I one, remember. one woman show about St. Faustina. Yeah, I remember that. So Is... it, didn't, it, didn't, uh, it didn't intimidate me. I, I kind of felt that it was something that brought me closer to my faith, uh, brought me closer yes. to Jesus, using the gifts that God provided me with. And when it actually turned into an opportunity to do a TV show, I kind of took a step back and I said, okay, I think God was preparing me this whole time how, for this show. Jonathan, how did, you know, my, my pal Jim Caviezel was transformed, I think, by that role. Um, it it certainly deepened his faith. What has it done to you? Is there anything tangible that you see in your own life that's shifted? as a result of oh, playing this role? I mean, a thousand percent. You can't spend that much time with the character, with mm -hmm. the person, with the being of Jesus in your in your consciousness and not be affected by it. There's just no way for it to, to not affect you if you're truly invested in as an actor in that character, in mm -hmm. that role. Uh, it starts to seep into you. And if you're already a, a Christian and, uh, or a Catholic Christian, in my, in my case, uh, it just brings everything to life. The whole thing is sort of a like an Ignatian spirituality exercise in what, you know, asking yourself, what would it be like to be here with Jesus, with the disciples in Galilee, in Capernaum, you know? Mm. Um, so it's, to me, it's been like a, just an extended prayer session. Well, I'm glad you got the chosen and not Richard the Third, the miniseries. It, this is a far better <laughs> option for you as a man and as an actor. I want to discuss you. your partnership with the Catholic app, Hollow. Uh, you yeah. and several cast members of The Chosen have partnered with them to guide users through 25 days of prayer, a prayer challenge. Uh, it traces yes. the story of Advent through Scripture from the Garden of Eden to the manger in Bethlehem. What can people expect? What is entailed in this 25-day prayer challenge? Well, um, Hallow being the, right now, I think it's the largest Christian app, I think, even in the world, not just Catholic, mm -hmm. but... Uh, the, just worldwide, it's it's huge, and and uh, Hallow has gone to great lengths to to give people more opportunities to get to to have a personal relationship with Jesus through uh, meditations. And the Advent Challenge with the Chosen is another way to learn more about the journey of Jesus from the Old Testament through the New Testament, through his forebears, through his his ancestors, um, through the prophecy in the Scripture that all pointed to. You know his his um, 
being born in Bethlehem, uh, and to really just meditate through all of those moments uh, what the coming of the Messiah might look like mm. and, and what it actually looked like and the humility of it and, and uh, essentially God's mercy and compassion throughout salvation history um, mm. for his people. Um, so it's it's a beautiful way to connect to this material in a very intentional way yeah. um, with characters from our show, which people have just really responded yeah. to. Uh, it's been such a, a, a successful challenge and a great way. To, I'm praying it myself, you know, because I just love listening to you know, other actors, you know, read the from the scriptures mm -hmm. and, and then actually drop in and, and meditate and it's a, it's a really moving experience. Uh, Jonathan, this is not your first partnership with Hollow. Um, this no. past Lent, you and Jim Caviezel partnered uh, inviting people to do that uh, Pray 40 challenge, which included Lent, yeah. daily prayers, meditations on the seven last words of Christ. How did you get involved mm -hmm. with Hallow? Well, I've I've had a partnership with Hallow now for a couple of years. I started by uh, reading the Sermon on the Mount, uh, really, from the, the uh, book of Matthew, and uh, I think starting with chapter four or five, and then that went really successful. That was sort of as a, as a sleep meditation, so people could fall asleep uh, to the, 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 the lulling sounds of me whispering scripture, and uh, it, it really took off, and then they started to um, ask me to come back and do more uh, you know, meditations with them, and, and uh, there's the Divine Mercy Chapel, there's Scriptural Rosary, mm -hmm. there's all sorts of these different resources there. And uh, and then as they've been expanding um, for the, the major seasons, Advent and Lent, they, they've had these great partnerships with Jim Caviezel, with Mark Wahlberg is another one. Um, you can pray, I often pray the uh, the Rosary with, with Mark, um, because it's just, it's, I just love hearing other people, especially in as an actor, it's it's you know it's really refreshing to see other um, people in our industry of faith not afraid to proclaim their faith and to pray out mm. their faith. Yeah. In addition to your support of Hallow, uh, you you support persecuted Christians, and in 2020, I know you spoke at the March for Martyrs, uh, which raised yeah. awareness about Christian persecution mm -hmm. and advocating religious freedom. This is a personal mission for you because of your family. I'm, I'm told. I'm first generation. Yeah, you know, um, my father, growing up in the Middle East as a Christian, um, I, I think by in, in any time period is is not is not uh, an easy road to 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 hoe, so to speak. Um, and so I think there are so many people uh, that are being uh, persecuted constantly and throughout time um, mm -hmm. that it's not something we hear about a lot in 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 the news and public. Um, you know, it's kind of a, it's sort of a forgotten about issue. I mean, there's so many humanitarian issues that need our attention, but to me, this is no less important uh, and and um, extremely personal. Mm. What do you hope people get from this Advent 25-day prayer challenge this Christmas season? What do you hope they take from the experience? I hope they get a sense of peace. They get a sense of connectedness to their Savior. Um, to, to have a better understanding of the history of the prophecies behind mm. Christ's birth. And, um, you know, I think that that uh, the world is a pretty dark place right now. And I think this particular meditation offers people light and hope and encouragement. And so, um, yeah, I would just hope that, uh, you know, people download the app and, they, you know, you can download it for free. And and uh, I think you can get three months for free right yeah. now from one of and and uh, really just drop into to connecting yourself to uh, your you know yeah. to God and to, to Christ well, in a way that you may never tried before. J Jonathan, people often ask me why you know why I wrote this book about the wise men, and I say it, it's because we shouldn't let Christmas wash over us. We should run out like the wise men and pursue Christmas. Go go chase yeah. it, find it, and really this app allows people to do that. The light is found inside, not outside. It's inside all of us. And, uh, and I love that you all are giving people an opportunity to do that. Jonathan Rumi, thank you for being here. If you'd like to watch The Chosen, seasons one and two and soon three will be available at the App Store. Go and download The Chosen app. And for more on the 25-day Advent Prayer Challenge, go to hollow.com. Jonathan Rumi, Merry Christmas. Great to see you. Merry Christmas, Raymond. Thank you. Thank you.